Now your weather authority forecast from WTAJ. And let's take a look at those weather headlines. Well, we see some returning rain chances. That's a good thing as uh, we're still running on the dry side. And uh, we do see a strong front uh, moving through here on Wednesday night. And once that passes through, we'll start to see some higher terrain snow. And we're looking at gusty winds through the end of the week with chilly temperatures. So get ready. A huge change is coming. Today's high, though, 61. That was more than 10 degrees above our historical average. The 49, the, the low was closer to the high. And the historic lows were right around 33, close to freezing. Looking at our weather tonight, here we are in Dubois from our friends at Penn Highlands Healthcare. It's a beautiful night. Temperatures uh, hovering in the mid 40s, so it's a typical cool November night, but it's not really cold, that's for sure, right? And there you can see the winds very light out of the east. As we look at our forecast for tonight, We'll see our temperatures coldest to the north where the skies uh, see less cloud cover. So it'll be in the, the mid to lower 30s. But where there are more clouds, we'll keep it uh, mostly in the 40s. As we uh, head out the door early in the morning, you'll be greeted by clouds and cool temperatures, certainly. You'll want a nice warm jacket or a sweatshirt, but at least it'll be dry. But that will change during the day because as the day progresses, we will see some moisture returning from the west. So that we'll start to see some showers develop and they'll be heading eastward later in the afternoon to the early evening. Temperatures, though, still mild, upper 50s to near 60 degrees. Here's the way it looks on the future track. Well, we'll see clouds to start off the day and uh, these green blobs, those are the showers and they'll be moving through later in the afternoon into the evening. Then after that, this trough of low pressure in the upper atmosphere, we're up at about 18,000 feet here, that comes rolling into our area and it starts to make its move Wednesday night. That's when the colder air comes pouring in and look, that upper low goes right over us. So that spells trouble. It spells cold air, strong winds, and there'll be that elevation snow. And look at our precipitation chances. Wow, this is different, right? We're looking at likely grab an umbrella. So it is going to be turning wetter, but also wider. And at this present time, it does look like there is the potential, at least a 50% chance of at least six inches of snow, central and southern Laurel Highlands, especially towards Somerset County. That would be primarily on Friday. So looking ahead, well, the big change is coming. Look at the wind and look at the temperatures. And yes, there'll be rain and that elevation snow.